Hey there, in this video I'll show you the gaming performance of the brand new Nokia 5.4. In this video I will show you different games, how they load, how they play, and we'll see if the brand new Nokia 5.4 is actually a good gaming budget device. Alright, let's start with one of the most popular games such as Subway Surfers. Actually before that, let's check out the Geekbench results. This uh, Nokia 5.4 has got uh, 4 gigs of RAM and a decent Snapdragon processor. Okay, and this is a single score, single core score, and multi core score. Some more details if you are into that stuff. Alright, and let's check out the games itself. Check out the loading speed. It should load actually pretty fast since this phone has got fairly decent specs. As you see, it was fairly fast. Let's turn on the volume. The game plays so smooth. Get activated. Yeah, I'm not the best at this game. Yeah, the play looks very nice. But this is a fairly easy game. Not the demanding. We'll check out more demanding games a bit later on, such as Call of Duty. Some racing games as well. Ah, Santa Cotton. It's a bit loud. The speakers on the phone are also very decent. You get only one speaker here, however, it's decent enough. As you see, menus load pretty fast. So, how do you activate it? I'm not too sure. Yeah, very good playback on such simple games as this. Alright, let's check out some other games. Let's try to close it. As you see, closing the app was very fast. Okay, let's check out a more demanding game, such as Assault 9. Check out the loading speeds. Right, it loaded pretty fast. Menus are very responsive. Let's check out the gameplay itself and see how fast the game itself loads. Yeah, graphics are fairly nice. I hope you actually control the game. Right. 
So far seems a pretty nice playback. And yeah, as you saw, the loading menus were very, very fast. Some of the uh, less powerful phones you have to wait ages for these menus to pop up and yeah, but this one, pretty fast. Let's try another race. Definitely something like Nokia 3.4 was a bit slower than this device indeed. Yeah, it's more snappy indeed and faster than that. So it's nice upgrade. Same thing, nice. One thing that you probably noticed if I covered the speaker like this, the sound gets muffled really bad. You can't really hear anything much. You can't hear, but yeah, that's the only native robot with sound that it only has got one speaker and it's here. And you're gaming, you often then cover the speaker. So the sound gets distorted a bit. But still, that's not really a huge drawback. Alright, let's check out some other games. Let's close this. Yeah, that's why I very fast close it. Okay, let's check out Angry Birds. Oh, I actually launched accidentally the other game. Alright. Let's check out this game. This used to be my favorite game. I have to shoot crocodiles here. It's a very cool game. I suggest you check it out. It was called Swamp Attack. You can play this game for hours. <laughs> Quite addicting. Alright. Not highly demanding game, but as you see, it's everything very smooth and fluid. Check out the menu and one more time. As you see, all the menus and game load super fast, almost instantly. So there's pretty much no difference from any flagship phones when you're playing games like this. Yeah, the Nokia 5.4 definitely is a very nice budget gaming device. Alright, let's exit the game. And let's check out that Angry Birds. If you want to compare the speeds of your other phones, you can do it by watching this video and opening at the same time as I am so I can compare your device against this one let's see it loads super fast ok Yeah, the sound, sound gets really muffled when it covers this. However, apart from that, playback itself is extreme, extremely nice. Yeah, I want. Yeah, 
The sound itself, itself of the device is very good. Yeah, and the colors of the screen is also very nice. So you see everything is very vibrant and nice. Alright, let's play this one more level and then we'll check out the Call of Duty game, which is the most demanding game for all. Yeah, Smokey 5.4 definitely is a very nice gaming device. Definitely don't feel at all that this, this is a cheap phone. The screen is nice, the sound is nice, and most importantly the playback and performance of the phone is also very nice. So yeah, very nice gaming device. Okay, let's check out the Call of Duty. Let's see how fast loads. As you saw, the loading speed was very fast, definitely way faster than the other Nokia 3.4, which is almost the same phone, whereas this Nokia 5.4 has got better specs. So if you are considering and can't decide between those two phones, I would definitely go for the Nokia 5.4, which is this phone. This has got way better processor and specs. The Nokia 3.4 often lagged a bit, whereas this Nokia 5.4 is very nice. Yeah, and the screen size also perfect for gaming. Got such a really nice screen. And it's very easy to control everything. Okay, let's check out the loading speed of this. Yeah, pretty fast. Okay, I will skip this a bit. Right, let's start the game. And check out the screen colors. They're very nice for such a really low price point device.
Yeah, I brought his armor shoes again. Seems like, yeah, on the game. And as you saw, the playback on the device was very nice actually. And I can't really tell any difference from many flagship phones. Even for, yeah, even for this supposedly budget phone. Right, as you saw, all the games I tried to play on this phone are actually very fast and very smooth and definitely the playback experience of the games were very nice so yeah if you're looking for a really nice gaming device which is incredibly cheap for what you get the build quality of the phone is incredibly good as well the cameras aren't the best on the phone but still the build quality screen sound and the specs of the phone are really nice looking for a budget gaming device this one is probably your best bet right if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and if you want to see more videos about the nokia 5.4 then make sure to subscribe as i'll be releasing more reviews such as um, camera tests um, display quality tests and sound quality tests on my channel so if you want to see them Make sure to subscribe. See you.